Clank is one of my favorite series. I felt obligated to donate during the uh, Up Your Arsenal run. Also, as IT, uh, I'd like to get a shout out to the tech team for keeping everything running smoothly. Uh, we also had a $25 anonymous donation who says, man, I am so glad I woke up to see Metroid Fusion. Right? Me too. Early in the morning here at AJDQ, ready to get this Fusion run up and running for you all. And I see that our, our camera operator is doing fantastic work here. Yeah, that's worth a clap. All right, looks like we are good to go. I'm going to throw it over to C. Scotty W. for Metroid Fusion Any Percent Memory Corruption Run. Let's go. C. Scotty, 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 Scotty. Bye. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> uh, do we want to get a countdown? Well, do you right. want to introduce yourself? Gosh. Okay. People, I'm, come on, Scott. That's the polite thing to do. I'm Scotty. This is Metroid Fusion Memory Corruption. Great. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's count it down then. We're All right. Start in right. Five, five, four, three, two, one, go. Go. <laughs> All right, so first thing you might notice here is that we're actually using the English version instead of the generally fast Japanese version. That's because memory corruption is going to require Scotty to go out of bounds later, and the Japanese version does not let you do that, so we have to run this on English. So here, coming up is the, one of the hardest rooms in the game already. This room is really annoying sometimes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. clean. Oh, beautiful. I like that one. <laughs> so what Scotty did there is actually a variation of what uh, other runners would, uh, would do we call it the climb, and it's it's one of the more technically difficult runs, uh, parts of the run, and it happens to be right in the beginning of the run, so it's really good reset point for a lot of people doing the oh, TV runs. And there are a lot of resets there, yeah. believe me. Yeah. It's very notorious for it. <laughs> so, like, the, the start of the game is just pretty slow until we get, like, a missile tank, so not much is going to happen for a bit. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I, mean, I suppose we can talk a little bit about a couple of things you might see Scotty doing. You see him, uh, when he's jumping up to a platform, he shoots. That just makes him land a little bit faster so he can get running faster, because running is faster than jumping, so you want to be running as much as possible. And uh, I've, Scotty also told us beforehand that he doesn't actually know the story of this game. And Wait, really? Scotty, what? <laughs> I, know. I know the story. Oh, oh, so you're lying to me instead. Scotty, Scotty, I thought we were buds. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, but not much to say. Uh, for those of you who have maybe perhaps be a bit newer to the Metroid series as Metroid Fusion, um, this is Samus looks different because she was infected by the X parasites who are the big antagonist here, Ooh. and um, apparently also there. platforming. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and they can take the form of enemies that they absorb, as you saw right there, took the form of a whore node. And all the bosses will actually be the not will actually be the X forming into bosses. It's actually pretty slick. Yeah, and the uh, reason why there are so many X parasites now is because, uh, from what I understand, Samus has basically destroyed all the Metroids, and now the Metroids are natural predators to the X parasites. And now that the Metroids are gone, you kind of see the X parasites like flourishing and uh, are now a threat to the galaxy. That's like kind of the the plot twist to the series. It's like um. You think all the time the Metroids are bad, but they were actually the, the good guys all along. Mm -hmm. So now the X are roaming free with nothing to stop them. So they've taken over the ship, basically. And now they're plotting to try and take over the universe. And they thought they were safe, but they did not count on the one bounty hunter with Metroid DNA running through her body. Uh, Samus? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. okay, I got it, yes. She, she's part of Metroids now, so she can absorb the Xs. So now we have uh, the missiles. Um, the missiles aren't that much useful compared to like other games. Like, uh, they're pretty weak. Like, the, the main weapon in this game is mostly the charge beam when you get it. And like, uh, and other upgrades, but like, um, it's not really until you get to super missiles where they start becoming slightly useful. Because uh, so missiles, you can only have um, two on screen at once, so like, um, it's really limited how you can use them. So you've got to, like, uh, work around that limitation with some bosses and that. 
attacks like he. Yeah, but they're still, we're still going to see him use that because some things like those barriers, um, X cores, which we'll see coming out of the bosses, and other things, such things require missiles. So it's, you yeah. can't fully rid yourself of them. You, want, you need to have a certain number of them for. Just grabbing these extra tanks, even though you'd think not so much for any percent, but you still want to have a few missiles for dealing, so you don't have to refill or anything like that. 20 missiles is pretty safe for this category. Ooh, getting that door Ooh. double. Uh, so, either is really weird how they work. Um, so they can shoot up to four times, but like um, it's random, so they're more likely to shoot like one to three than um. And it's rare to, for them to shoot zero beams and four beams. So, like, it's very common to see one to three. Oh, zero rolls, no bakery today. Very, very nice. And sweet spot. More faulty. That was a perfect boss fight. That was flawless. That was perfect. Really good, yeah. yeah. So, Arachmus can. That's Arachmus, and it can sometimes. <laughs> Arachmus will roll around the room, and that wastes like five seconds. So, like, um, not getting a roll is really nice because. It's just a really clean fight when he doesn't roll. Right, it, and you'll notice uh, throughout the game that the game has a lot of RNG elements. Uh, the Eidor, as you saw, uh, Arachnus, fortunately not giving us any rolls. Uh, and in future bosses, they can potentially, you know, uh, cost you up to like 20 seconds. Uh, there's another boss coming up here soon. Mm -hmm. I we'll think on average, I lose like 40 seconds to just plain RNG. Yep. This game is like really brutal when it comes to lock. Yep. It's like, it, it becomes a certain point where the game decides if you can beat your time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm almost kind of disappointed that he didn't give me any rolls. Because we found this really neat thing recently where you can actually shoot through Arachnus's back mm -hmm. when he's facing away from you. What? Yep. Yeah. Um, Hello. Are you all hiding tech from me? <laughs> <laughs> has something to do with his um, hitbox being really close. Like he has two hitboxes. And um, when he turns around, his um, hitbox that makes him that takes damage is uh, right next to the hitbox that tinks the missiles. Oh, is this Super Metroid? I guess, I guess so. What? Oh God! <laughs> what? <is it? laughs> okay. Help! I'm scared. <laughs> it turns out the actual story of this game is that the SAX here is the world's worst house guest, blowing up the doors instead of opening them like a normal person. Scott, did you open the door? I forgot. To. It's I'm a sorry. level. So, oh, I'm th sad. that's why. <laughs> there, I, I should have let SAX go right through the door, but instead I was mean and shut it. You can open the door and it will still blow it up. <laughs> it's quite funny. All right, so we got—we actually have a decently long uh, dialogue box coming up, so we can probably fit in a couple of donations while Sky's mashing through that. Yeah, totally. So I have a $100 donation from Clock to Puss, who says, I love the lineup of games today, and I have to start with Metroid Fusion. Man, the nostalgia. Oh, and uh, Kill the Animals. Uh. <laughs> Just save the frames. <laughs> I wish we could. Oh, oh man. Uh, we also have a $44.10 donation, uh, which is oddly specific, from Slender Max, who says, Hey, Scotty, congrats on your recent world record and good luck on the run. While you're power bombing out of, bomb, uh, out of bounds, uh, remember that if your heart's in the run, you can do anything. Thank you. Yeah, the huge thing about Scotty, this guy should have been practicing for this run. Instead, he goes and gets world record in low percent. Go figure. <laughs> and 100%. And 100%. Yeah, he just sweeps the categories. Just, that, just everything. <laughs> he's a titan, this Scotty. Yeah, I, I remember earlier, Crunchy mentioned something about uh, the task machine or something like that being the fastest runner here. But it turns out that Scotty is actually faster than the task machine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we should probably talk about Sector 1. So uh, the big gimmick here is um, you saw Scotty blow up what looked like a uh, wall fan. Five atmospheric stabilizers being uh, possessed by the X. Ooh, nice. Oh, oh. oh. So that room's just like random where the pirates would be. He just got unlucky, unfortunately. Yeah, and he, he, wants, he wants to be maintaining full health here because in this game, if you have full health, you get guaranteed green X drops, and green X drops give you missiles. Well, fortunately, Scotty does have enough missiles. Uh, he will pick up a lot of yellow X's from the pirates coming up here in a few rooms, and he should be safe for a missile count. Mm -hmm. So, um, see how the screen flashes red? Um, you want to kill it as the screen is flashing red. Um, so, otherwise, if you don't, it will flash red another time, and the door takes longer to open. But, like, the door will always open on the same time, at the same time. As 
So like you can only lose time in intervals good. of like five seconds in that room. Very nice back up there. No, that was that, 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 that was, that was, that was, that, that, was yeah. yeah, something. Another fun thing about Scotty is uh, he just kind of develops. He develops his own stretch. Or a lot of us don't expect. So during races, we'll just be like, Scotty, what do you do? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> magical time saves. Scotty's basically just gone through the game and like redeveloped all the strats. Basically, yeah. 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 Two. Two. And the hey. double. Okay, so for this boss fight, I'm sure Scotty has developed a new way to get this a consistently fast fight. Let's see if he can get it here. Ooh, Ooh. one. Ah, oh, no, I, didn't I missed first it. One. So he did get one double, though. And we didn't really talk about the double mechanics here. Um, so basically, the enemy's uh, hitbox is a square. Um, and not for this core fight, but for other core fights, you'll see that Scotty will attempt to shoot two missiles upwards. Uh, trying to get both missiles to land on the side of the core X's hitbox for to register a double. Um, in this case, though, however, the charge beam, he basically shot the missiles in a way that both missiles were overlapping and hitting hitting the uh, charge X's hitbox for a double. Oh, uh, I have a quick timely donation, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, $50 donation from JRP on the couch who says, Hey, Scotty, don't forget to save the game. <laughs> Thanks, JRP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and oh, it's just a, a running joke because uh, when you switch categories, you always forget to save. There you go. Just for you, JRP. Yay! And the thing about saving, in, th in this category, it's not actually for safety. He needs to save for the corruption to work. Yes. In a very specific room, entering from a specific direction. So actually, while we're heading out of Sector 1, uh, can you just feed in a couple more donations? Yeah, totally. Uh, so we have a $5 donation uh, from uh, P-E-J-E, -E, uh, who says, been up for over a day, so I wouldn't miss so many great runs. And what better way to end my day than with my favorite series? Good luck, Scotty. Don't forget to turn up your volume, everyone, so you can hear Ridley, by the way. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, oh. And donation goes to announcer's choice. Uh, I'm going to put that towards the bonus game for the Scribble Knots task, by the way. Uh, and I also want to point out real quick that we are less than 30,000 away from the 1 million. I'm not sure if we can get that during Metroid Fusion, but I believe in you, Twitch chat, and everybody watching this stream. So let's go ahead and get those donations in. Yeah, let's do it. 30,000? Yeah. If we hit a million during this, whoo! 30,000. Oh, wouldn't that be something? Hitting the million during Fusion. Yeah. So you may have noticed me taking a hit from a zombie on the way out. Uh, that was actually intentional. I don't want to save at full health because sometimes you'll respawn with zero health and yeah. die instantly. So it's basically run over. It's like mm -hmm. you cannot recover from that. Um, that's why Scotty has backup saves and mm -hmm. all that. But like in a normal run, you would be just dead. The, every time you reload, you'll die. So it's like you can't do anything. All right, so Scotty is on his way down to Sector 2. These are all numbered for your convenience. This is the jungle biome here. And um, the, fun, the fun thing here is you have these little red fuzzy enemies that do a crap ton of damage if you touch them, and they're everywhere. Yeah, Sector 2 is one of the most difficult sectors for new runners, uh, mostly because of the Zoros, the orange caterpillar-looking things, or red or whatever. Uh, that you'll see throughout the area, and they do a lot of damage. Um, and because you're speedrunning, you don't really have that many E-Tanks to start. Uh, and running into them constantly will just end, end your run, basically. So, so um, because you get 20, because um, major upgrades don't count towards percentage, they decided to give you 20 E-Tanks. Now, you may, that, that sounds good, like, but um, what they did was to compensate for the 20 E-Tanks, they really buffed the enemies. Like, uh, these, these Zoros over here do ton of damage. I believe it's 45. Yeah, 45. yeah, yeah right. it's, it's really high. These guys right here. Yeah. And it's really easy to just run into them. Like, if you're trying to run to fall off that platform and you run a little bit too much, hit it. Good. Oh, you got the good pattern. Yeah. Up for another one. Can we go for two good patterns? Very nice, nice, nice. double there, yeah. Ah, oh, the oh, bad pattern. So there's like a chance that those two red Zoros will either be going in the direction that will have to make you stop and shoot them. But he got, he got the first one was good, but that one, he, he had to wait a bit. So in all seriousness, I have to wonder, how on earth are 
you know, the employees of this facility supposed to wall jump up there to unlock the door so they can do their job. I think they bring ladders with them. Uh, that's my guess. Wait, that's, that sounds so awkward. Wait, you don't bring ladders to your work to <laughs> climb the floors and to get to your desk or something? Did you say climb the floors? <laughs> It's like, I need to go to the bathroom. Hey, I need a step ladder. <laughs> hey, Jim, go down to sector, sector two. We need to open the blue doors today. <laughs> and here are the bombs, which unfortunately not as exciting as you might think. This is one of their weakest showings in a Metroid game. So, um, so like, bombs have a 60 frame cooldown, if I recall correctly. Um, so the way the bombs work is you can't actually bounce me there. And they only let you bounce from the ground. So if you try and bounce while mid-air, it won't actually bounce you. You just do like a small bounce and then you'll fall down. It is technically possible to infinite bomb jump by abusing like the pause buffering, but like it's like that would take you probably like an hour to reach the ceiling. <laughs> because oh god awfully slow. Yeah, if I remember correctly, um, the game checks for any vertical momentum while the bomb is exploding, and if it's if it's uh, more than zero at at any point when the bomb explodes, you just won't bomb jump. So infinite bomb jumps are humanly impossible. But I, like JRP said, uh, Task can do it with a series of pause buffering. Or oh, the Task does it like um, it does like. 30 hertz down, up and down, um, 30 hertz morphing or something. Yeah, that's uh... really because when you morph, your your vertical speed resets. So like you can lay a bomb, just keep morphing and unmorphing, mm -hmm. and it will bounce you up slightly. But yeah. Okay. So Scotty is about to come up on the second boss, and um, I'm. There, you can say all sorts of things about the boss. I'll let your imagination do the work. But the real fun thing about it is um, more randomness comes Ooh. into play. Hi, e tank. Yeah, this is one of the uh, the bigger uh, swings in RNG yeah. in terms of bosses. Um, Zazabi, the cylindrical shaped uh, boss here, can uh, jump uh, jump anywhere between a minimum of three jumps up to a maximum of twelve. So hopefully, Scotty gets some one. good. Oh, oh. <laughs> got the counting. Two. Oh, one! Ooh! He's gonna teach us how to count today. <laughs> So like um two. two. Ooh! I'm, so, I'm feeling five jumps here. So Sarsby can to get minimum jumps, he has to do zero jumps. Four. Four. Yeah. <laughs> Four jumps. Very nice. So to get a minimum of three, you have to so the way Zazby works is the minimum it can do depends on which round. So the first round it, it can do no, no jumps. Second round it can only do a minimum of one, and then it goes two. That's where the three comes from. It double doubles in the sweet spot. Beautiful like sweet spot. Yeah. All right. So don't die. Coming up next, Scotty asked me to hype this up. Scotty is going to be performing one of the most difficult tricks in this game that can end a run if you are ever so slightly off. It's called the SAX skip. SAX will instantly kill you if you have less than I think it's 400 or three, 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 three hundred e health. Three fully e tanks. Yep. So. Um, don't die. Don't die. <laughs> Shh, here we come. Uh, good. Bye. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> easy. Oh, man. Sky just makes this stuff look easy. Oh. Uh, Scotty, that's not right. Sorry. <laughs> I, went, I went full muscle memory there. So, I'm upset now. I just want to say that for years, we thought that this trick was one of the most difficult things to do that it was not worth doing in a PB run. And Scotty comes in, I think, uh, about a few months ago and goes, you know what, it's actually really easy uh, if you wait, get... Wait, oh, Scotty. Okay, Scotty's going to do a clip here. There we go. <laughs> just, just for... That's, a, that's your first case of Out of Bounds. <laughs> yeah, so Scotty, Scotty just comes through and says, you know, it's actually not that hard if you do it like this. Mm -hmm. And as you saw in a live marathon, no sweat, Scotty pulls off one of the hardest tricks, the SAX skip. There's actually many ways you can actually do that skip. Mm -hmm. I do a more difficult strat, but I just find that one easier for me. He's doing the spring ball strat, which is a... Yours is so weird. You just go full YOLO. Yeah, it works all the time, though. I always get it. <laughs> you're, you're like, you're up there poking the SAX. I'm like, hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. 
I think the hando skip's my favorite because you just <laughs> like you walk into it, he freezes you, and then you run past him and he just keeps standing right. Like he's like, where did she go? <laughs> Witchcraft. <laughs> So we're coming up on more dialogue here, and I think this is a good time for uh, more donations. Yeah. All right. Yeah, perfect. So we have a $100 anonymous donation who says it wouldn't be AGDQ without Metroid, and here's to one million during the run. Let's go, everyone. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, I think we could do it. Let's go, dude. Uh, we also have a $25 donation from Andy G 16 who says, woke up early just to see a broken run of Metroid Fusion. I'm already really enjoying this run. Good luck, Scotty, and donation to the runner's choice. Thank you, and that will be going towards the task block. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so... Oh, actually, go ahead. Go read another one. Go read another one. Okay. Uh, yeah, we also had a $25 donation from Fox131 who says, Man, I just had to donate during Metroid Fusion. I love this game, especially the nightmare boss fight. Uh, Good luck, everyone. <laughs> uh, so everyone's talking about these great bosses that you will not be seeing in Memory Corruption. <laughs> no. Um, nightmare, Ridley, Natori, Yakuza. Well, no one misses Yakuza, though. Nobody misses you. No. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're lying to yourself then. <laughs> Ooh. So um, pay attention how Scotty's breaking these blocks. Um, this is actually pretty important. Those block, all those blocks need to be broken. And uh, it actually, what it does is it sets a value in the RAM that will be useful later. So like, um, he's got to break two more missile blocks, and then that should be it about breaking blocks. Mm -hmm. But like, it's really, really crucial that you actually break the blocks because otherwise, um, it doesn't work. What the squad is going to do later? Oh, the boss is dead already. Oh no! Oh. What happened? Scott is just that good. He already the boss is dead before he even got there. <laughs> oh, I know what that door means. Wait. Oh, oh zero. zero beam. Scotty's getting a lot of good RNG right, in this so one. Series has random patterns. We'll see what patterns he gets. Let's see what the spicy sausage does. Okay. That was good. That was good. Ah, oh, so that's the bad pattern. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, Ooh, wait, bad. he can recover. Oh, no. oh my oh. god. <laughs> These patterns come in pairs, and the, the oh. arcing is just not so great. There right. we go. Two rounds, what you want to see. So basically, you want Sirius to like loop around the platforms again, but like when he does the arc pattern, it, the fight becomes a bit slower. The worst pattern is when it arcs to the left, because uh, you can't actually hit it, because you can only be on one side. So like if you're on the wrong side, you can't hit it, so you got to wait. Yeah, Scotty definitely made the best with the, uh, basically the worst possible patterns that you can get. It's rare to see that many half patterns. Mm -hmm. So you see here Scotty intentionally destroying specific blocks to set up the memory corruption here. So these are, these are the last two blocks that actually matter. Those missile blocks, and now we're done. We can leave. So now it's um, basically just like any percent for a bit now. So it's like pretty ch yeah. chill. So now we're going to... Um, we have to go lower the water so we can leave. Um, if you manage to get to the um, navigation room now, um, the, the computer would just say, what was it called? Target eradicated. <laughs> or um, green, te green text that just says empty. <laughs> that's my favorite one. Yeah, that's due entirely to this game's event system, which honestly has been the biggest party pooper as far as speedrunning this game for years and years. Because here's the thing about the event system. It means that when you kill a boss, a power-up isn't attached to a boss, it's attached to an event. So if you try to kill a boss out of sequence, you don't get the right normal item. You get whatever is the next item in the, the next flagged nice. item. Oh, low height shines Very smart. nice low height. So you need to understand how tremendous it is that we finally managed to figure out a way to trick the event system. <laughs> After all these years of having so many people working on this game. Too bad it's on English, though. What yeah, do you have against Out of Bounds? There's a lot of things in Japanese that were patched since English was uh, released first. Yeah, that's yeah. also a thing. Yeah, English was the... Uh-oh. <laughs> nice I forgot which room I was in. <laughs> so English was the first uh, version of this game released, so it left all, there, there were all these holes that weren't found until Japanese version was released, and the developers yeah. found these glitches and stuff and patched it. Um, 
Even, so. even like the most obscure glitches, like the Sector Free Game Clash. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't, don't, I have no idea how they found that. I was like, it's so obscure, but like they fixed it, and it's also the reason why um most people would run zero percent on English because of of a exploit with how bl reforming blocks work and how it pushes you through walls and zips you. But yeah, um, English is the most broken version of this game. Yep. For the longest time, it was the far, it was the the slowest, but that changed very recently. Yeah. In fact, um, when when they found the memory corruption, uh, it was in the middle of a tournament that <laughs> that was going on, and yeah. we had to decide very quickly to actually ban the use of memory corruption in the tournament while the tournament was going on because it was so major, right? Uh, fortunately, we, we were able to ban it quickly enough like before Scotty could get it running because it would have been it would have been really sad to see a race where, you know, Scotty's already good, but then, you know, when he races against someone, he was like, how did he win by 30 minutes? <laughs> so, well, spoiler alert, he won the tournament anyway. He won it me. anyway, yeah. Yeah, it's it's such a groundbreaking thing that uh, it's now its own category. I remember like Biospark just. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. that's, that's a frame perfect trick. Yeah. I remember like Biospark just comes in Discord. I'm like, hey guys, I found a, a 30 minute skip. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Biospark. It's almost as. I thought it was like his, another April Fool's joke. Yeah, it was, it was he, right he did one of those. It, actually, it was April 1st when, yeah. when he. Uh... Oh, yeah, it was too. <laughs> That was like, uh, no way, and it was like real. So, uh, are we going to see a Bob skip here? I'll try it once. I'll try it once, all right. So, Bob, so Bob's a missile take in Sector 3. Ah. Uh, <laughs> but you can, so there's the Shine Spark method, and there's the that method of the, sh um, of the, like I said before, with abusing how um, reforming blocks work. Oh! oh. Scotty, please, that's my strat. You don't Scotty want to use that. Scotty is actually... <laughs> Scotty, show off the, the, the Bob skip here. No. <laughs> Come on. So, all right, everybody, uh, say hello to Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Bye, Bob. Bye, Bob. <laughs> hello. Hello. So for a while there, that missile was thought to be unskippable, and this is the reason why there, there is a 1% category in this game. Uh, which is now obsolete since we found ways around it using English. Um, and Scotty tried to do the the seven frame window trick where you do a series of hops while storing a shine spark, but that's really difficult. Um, Ooh, nice. Uh, data spark. Very nice free. data spark, yeah. Data spark's always nice to get. And now you're also, now he's gonna fight a security robot box. Now Scotty does a. He, do, he does the stupid method. <laughs> that, that's it's why I grabbed an extra E tank uh, right after, right before Zazapin. Here we go. Oh. Nah. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. oh. oh, Scotty, no. Oh, no. Scotty, no. Get him. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> First try, dude. <laughs> it's easy every time, trust me. So, uh, that's actually not as easy as Scotty makes it look. I've practiced that trick for hours and I still can't do it. So um, super missiles, um, now missiles start becoming useful. Like they, they actually kill things now. Um, but like um, the catch is each missile upgrade, your missile fire rate, it goes up. So, uh, lo um, the cooldown gets longer basically. So like it takes longer to fire a shot. So the double missiles we were talking about before, hitting two missiles on the same frame becomes more difficult. I think by the time you get the fusion missiles, it becomes extremely difficult. Fortunately for Scotty, he doesn't have to deal with the fusion yeah. doubles. The fusion doubles are just the worst thing, especially at Ridley. Ridley corrects is just, is a, it's a thing. <laughs> All right, so now we've got some long dialogue then traveling long distance. So let's get a few more donations in. Yeah, definitely. So we actually got a $1,000 donation from Ooh. Dragon Fangs. Whoa, Dragon Great. Fangs! Dragon which is Fangs, man. a huge step towards that one mil. Uh, powerful Dragon donation, GDQ Dragon Roar. 
Not long ago, <laughs> I used to think this game was absolutely rock solid and that we were never going to find anything crazy, and it only took 15 years of enthusiasts actively trying to break it open, but we finally found some cracks. I'm so happy that Scoots gets to demonstrate to everyone how wrong I was. Get ready for a good show, everyone. Yes, Thank you, Dragon yeah. Fang. Dragon Fang. Dragon Fangs is an excellent runner of both games and does a lot of task work. Yeah, you should definitely. He's done the the is it zero mission, hundred percent, and any percent has. Um, you should definitely go watch them. They're really, really well done. Really fun to watch. All right, now it's time for the badly named sector. It's supposed to be a nighttime sector, but it never actually gets dark. So if you read the text, it says um, this sector is really dark. Like it is. Like it's so dark they put a searchlight around Samus. You're, you're gonna see how dark it is in a second. Like, uh, Scotty, you might need to like turn off the brightness on your TV. Mm -hmm. So how dark is it gonna be? Be careful. It's gonna see, be really dark. I, really I dark. won't be able to see a thing. Oh. All right. You need a flashlight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, everyone watching. You probably like won't be able to see Sector 6. Really, really you, dark. You just turn up your brightness. See, it's, it's so dark right here. That's so dark. Wow, I can't see anything. What's going on? See the, you see the searchlight? It's like, like the same brightness as everything else. <laughs> I like this guy, guys. I think it would work a lot better if I hadn't just finished saying this sector is not dark at all. It's your fault. That's fair. I'll take. I'll take the blame. Now, these blue X's are. Um, you don't want to grab them. They are ice X's because. So remember, Samus is part Metroid now, so she the cold hurts her. And if you collect those, she'll take a lot of damage. Oh, I got the bounce. Ooh, nice save. So you, you want to morph there and lay the bomb and not land, because if you land, like I said before, if you're on the ground, you'll bounce. But if you're in midair, you don't bounce. So you don't want to... Oh. You want to grab the energy tank and lay the bomb without landing. I'm going to need some quiet time here for Scotty. For, this is going to be a difficult trick. Hi, buddy. Good. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Might as well call the Scotty Clowns on the X the run. <laughs> so we, we can't say it enough, but Scotty basically revolutionized Ooh. a lot of these uh, new strats and tech. And another zero beam. Ooh. Did you did you modify this game or something? <laughs> I'm playing on easy. <laughs> so this is a Mega Rex, and you basically just want to jump into it with your full charge shot. Oh yeah, I should probably mention the the charge beam has three parts to it. What? That was the weirdest fight ever. <laughs> Turned me around a couple times inside of him. Yeah, the charge beam has three parts, the two actual shots and the flare underneath. The, um, the f Ooh. There we go. So the flare actually does, I think, six damage, which is why Ceres died in two hits. Yeah. All right, everybody, cover your eyes. Here it comes. Oh, my favorite. Ah, Look at you, it. Ah. What are you talking about? It's the best suit ever. It's my Look favorite at it. suit. It's, it's amazing. It's yellow. I love yellow. Yellow is but one of the colors in this. Uh. <laughs> so you know how the gravity suit looks good in this game? Well, we're not getting it. So you, just, you have to deal with to that end. now. Yeah. It's a beautiful suit. <laughs> we've, Ooh, nice. We've That's sown in the field of Varia and reaped only ruin. <laughs> oh. This, uh, so exiting Sector 6 can be quite a hassle because the puffers there, the, the flying dudes, can sometimes just be in your way. Sometimes you have to wait, sometimes you have to kill them. But, like, that's a good pattern right there. Yeah. Very nice, very, very nice. nice. Very, let's see if we can get this um, speed booster, though. Nice. <laughs> that, that's actually a lot tighter than it looks. You have to press down really late next to the wall. 
Yeah, so if you if you run this game uh, any percent, you might notice that Scotty skipped a missile that he would normally get in the other category. Uh, but since we're skipping a majority of the bosses, the, the main reason why we get so many missiles is for the plasma beam boss that Scotty's going to skip. Now, with that in mind, Scotty does not need to pick up as many missiles as he would in a typical not made not memory corruption run. Yeah, Bob was the last power up he was going to pick up. Yep. Which is, which saves even more time. We do love saving time. Yep. We could probably have some donations for now. Yeah. Yeah, totally. So we have a hundred dollar donation from the Hockey Towners. Ah, so uh, the Hockey Towners. Hey, Scotty, what an awesome run! Uh, Rasu, JRP, and Crunchy on the couch get me fired up too. Hey, Hockey. Hi, Hockey. Hockey. Uh, we also have a $500 donation from CG who says, hey, when are we going to get that Metroid Dread, Nintendo? Ooh. Oof. Shots fired. That's a, that's a gut shot right there. <laughs> Give us one more. Go for it. Yeah, uh, we have a $25 donation from John Madden 109. Uh, I just want to say before I read the donation, John Madden, John Madden, John Madden, John Madden. Okay, uh, first time donor, first time watcher as well, and I'm loving this Metroid Fusion run. Good luck, Scotty. Thank you. I wonder if he likes football. Football! <laughs> football! <laughs> no, no, it's a baseball fan, clearly. All right, so Scotty's now in Sector 5, the uh, cold sector. Having various oh. suits... Oh. Having various suits, Scotty can now traverse through Sector 5 without taking environmental damage, which is kind of interesting because you're kind of, uh, with various suit, you usually associate various suit with heat uh, in the 2D Metroid games. I know that Prime has like cold sectors, uh, but 2D Metro, uh, in, in terms of 2D Metroid, Fusion is the first one to introduce cold sectors for your barrier. Uh, so you can see there with the uh, icicles and stuff. Let's see if he gets the good pattern here. Oh, oh, bad pattern. So sometimes that pattern, you can hit, but like sometimes the ice X gets in your way and your shots hit the ice X and not the waiver there. Oof. Yeah, that's really painful to get in the run. Almost as painful as the power up he's going to be picking up here in Sector 5. Oh. So you know how you can... Mostly kill things in one hit. Now you can do it in two. <laughs> it's like a, it's a great upgrade. Yeah, the, this, the, 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 the deep lore here is that Samus Part Metroid can't get Ice Beam, which would be proven wrong later if you did weren't doing memory corruption. So you have to get Ice Missiles instead. But in practice, all it really does is make you take more hits to kill things. Yeah, the Ice Missiles are for for speed running is more used for utility uh, making platforms on enemies instead of for damage. Uh, oh, he's doing oh, oh. reverse eyes. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go. Reverse eyes. Let's do it. Ah. Oh. Oh. Only trying it once. We're not going back. <laughs> so, um, you can normally have to go to the left and climb all the way up the rooms and that to go to the data room. But, like, um, you can go right and store a frame-perfect shine spark the first frame you land and then, like, uh, shine spark into the, uh, the save room and that and then go all the way to the right and shines back straight up to the right side of the data room. And it's a few seconds faster. But no one goes for it because it is stupid. And if you fail it, you lose more time than you would have gained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Jagger G for trying it in that race all those years ago at GDQ. So Scotty now uh, has the ice missiles. He did remember to actually use the data room. Uh, sector 5 is one of those sectors that you can <laughs> kind of get lost in because you, you go through it so many times through your run that you might actually forget to get ice missiles, which Scotty did in his uh, tournament race and lost, I think, was a minute over his opponent. Uh, but he did, I mean, he is Scotty, uh, did manage to catch up to his opponent and beat him after that uh, one minute time loss. And I think this was in the finals. Too. Yes, it was the yeah, finals. It was the, the grand finals. The grand finals, yeah. So that was really hype. Yeah, I remember spending uh, quite a few seconds yelling at Scotty through the microphone, like, Scotty, what are you doing? Scotty, no! <laughs> was I commentating or...? I think it was. I, I think, yeah, you were yeah. there as well. You did three, three for that one. That was a fun race. Yeah. All right, so now there's going to be some uh, bit more talking, some more elevator action. So, boy, take it away for a bit. 
Yeah, we have a $20 donation from Jay Ness, who says, here's to help reach $1 million during the only Metroid game I've ever completed. I mean, shame on me, right? But hey, thanks to GDQ, I get to help kick cancer's butt and discover awesome games, classic or recent, at the same time. So thanks to all the GDQ staff and organizers. Also, emergency in fantasy. Yeah, hang on a second. I thought we were supposed to do elevators. What's the splashing red light nonsense? Yeah, what happened? I don't know. Something's going wrong. Uh-oh. I thought this was the ice sector, not the flashing red light sector. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's a fancy new biome they got going on. Oh. All right, so the backhatch is getting excited, so let them take it away for a bit. Oh, wait, no, we're not that part yet. This is so intense. It's building up. Yeah. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? It's building up. Frank and Franker Z. Chat, please spam Franker Z. It is your duty. <laughs> So we're going back to Sector 3, um, and then we're going to an area of Sector 3 where we only go once. Yep. It's basically to, it's basically plot to, we're going to go down there and stop the, the main boiler from, was it overheating, exploding or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But why on earth do we have a boiler in this magical space future? Like, do they have fusion or something? I don't know. <laughs> there they go. There they go. <laughs> oh, Ooh, nice debuts. Oh, no. So those five pillars are random, but like if you if they knock you to the left, you save a bit of time back. So it's pretty nice to get. Yeah, this entire sequence is designed just to, you know, teach the player to use ice missiles. There's a lot of stretchies that it wants you to freeze use as platforms. And Sky's making really good time through here so far. Yeah, it's looking really good. Oh. Oh, five minutes left. Can you do it, Scotty? Oh, no, I don't I... think there's enough time left. Oh, gotta, gotta be faster. I'm sorry, we might lose the run here. We might run out of time. Two. Two. Three. Stop. Come on, four. <laughs> four. Ah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> So hey, it's time for another beam core. So again, Sky's gonna have to wait for the eye to open, but he's gonna jump above it and get those doubles. One. Nice. Double, That's double, double, double. Those are doubles are pretty, actually pretty difficult to execute. If you like, uh, more often than not, I would like uh, miss it all the time. <laughs> it's like they're, they're not easy. They they're harder than they look. Do we have a? A thing for saving or killing the animals here. Um... No, because there's only one correct decision. Ah, oh, that's true. Ah, true. Yeah. Saving them, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't know what you're on about. No, I don't. You say that, Scotty, but I know what you're about to do. I'm gonna save them, and then I'm gonna unsave them. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just climbing out of Sector Four. So now, actually, we have time for a few donations. Yep. All right, uh, we have a $10 donation from Toby Toby. It says, happy Friday, everyone. Metroid Fusion was my first Metroid game and I fell in love with the series uh, after playing it. And I'm looking forward to an awesome run. Good luck and have fun, everyone. Uh, we also had a $10 donation from Barth, who says, I just had to donate during the Metroid Fusion run, one of my favorite games ever. Good luck to all the speedrunners. We also had a $25 donation from the SAX, who says, why can't I hit you? Stop moving around. <laughs> <laughs> really frustrated, I can tell. <laughs> Too fast for you. <laughs> and Scotty just giving the jukes there. It's good. Uh, we also had a $100 anonymous donation, who says, GDQ is an event I look forward to every time, and it's only getting better every year. Keep it up, everyone. Uh, as well as a $25 donation from Dodrian, who says, one million during Metroid, I believe. We are at 974,000, almost 75. There's only 25,000 more. I think we will be hitting a million soon, but hey, if we can get those in real quick, that is possible still. I don't know, we only have about 10 minutes left in this run. All yeah, right. We'd have a bit of hustle if we want to do that. Yeah. So we're going to everyone's favorite place, the animals. 
because we love saving them. We love saving them so much in Super Metroid that we're going to save them again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty got some bad news. I recognize that, level that of voice. Fame. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, your moving through main deck is not very different from before. You can jump higher now, so. But I, th but I think we're also going to see Scotty do something coming up here, which uh, we affectionately refer to as the impossible strat. It is impossible. It's, it's not humanly possible to it's do this It's not track. possible at all. Look, look. I can do this one. If I can do it, it's not impossible. <laughs> <laughs> it's the stupid strat. Don't... Ooh, nice. And there it is. How did you do that? That's impossible. It, he cheats, obviously. He's cheating. It's impossible. I believe it. C. Scotty Cheater. <laughs> is that what the C stands for? <laughs> she Cheater figured Scotty me out. Does. Cheater Scotty W, yes. Let's see how the animal RNG goes here. And um, <laughs> nope. no, not, not very nope. good. Uh, there he is. Uh, uh, it's it, it was okay. It was it's okay. pretty average. Yeah. Bye, friends. It's slightly above average, but like normally you can do it like they normally come out all at once, straight away, and you save like five seconds. So my favorite scene is actually coming up here after this elevator. You get a really nice view of oh, the no. Varia suit in oh, great no. detail. Yeah. Look oh, at that. Oh, it's no. so beautiful, dude. <laughs> oh, God. It is the best thing ever, dude. Is that yellow-green or green-yellow? I don't know. I just wish I was colorblind right now. All right, so Scotty's going to be going back down to Sector 5 uh, to pick up the power bombs, which will be the last remaining upgrade that he'll get. Believe it or not, this is endgame. This yeah. is endgame. This, this is yeah. endgame. Normally, there'll still be a whole lot to go, but not anymore. So all Scotty has to do is remember which Sector 5 visit it is and not go the wrong way. It's surprisingly difficult to remember. Yeah, normally in normal runs you go to Sector 5 three times and it's not uncommon for even the most experienced of runners to forget which visit it is and go in the wrong direction. Absolutely. It I think it's kind of a rite of passage sort of thing. Like you, you, That's when you know you're a real fusion runner. <laughs> Down we go. Probably get a few more donations in yep. until we get to yeah. power bombs. Okay, uh, we have a $25 donation from Gravelon. A uh, little hello, everyone, from France with the French restream of AGDQ. Uh, thanks for this amazing event, and thanks to all the cast and crew. Also, uh, I personally want to give a huge shout-out to all of our restreamers. We have a ton of restreamers in different languages uh, restreaming this event, so thank you so much. I know that uh, Ivan from our Fusion community is uh, commentating in Spanish restream. That's right. Yeah. Uh, we also had a $20 donation from Crimson107 who says, I just had to donate during my favorite Game Boy Advance game. Keep up the great work, everyone. And a $10 donation from Edis who says, watching this one, uh, I'm watching this run remembering all the times I played in the dark with the GBA light and Ridley screams waking up my parents. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Well, Ridley won't wake your parents up uh, in this run, I'm sure. Real quick, in the background here, you can see Nightmare, who's really upset about the fact he's not going to be showing up in this run. <laughs> he just needs to inject himself into the run that's in somehow. Hey, guys! All right, so power bombs. These are the most, probably the most useful item in this in this category. Yep. Yeah. And they're also the loudest weapon in this entire game. <laughs> Get ready for your whooshes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I swear, like, the sound of the power bomb is just someone blowing in the microphone. Like, you, you be the judge. I'm not going to demonstrate I'm not going to try, I know. <laughs> oh, my ears. Thank you, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> also, the sax is here somewhere, but we don't care. Oh, yeah, where is the uh, SAX? I don't see him anywhere. I don't care. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. Oh, he uh, gave up. Oh, no, I can't fit through that tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty, this is a bad 100% run. Oh, 
All right, so Scotty is now going to be making his way to the area where he will perform the memory corruption. Um, so, so what he's going to try and do is, um, see, ice missiles have uh, are broken as well. So, like, frozen enemy hitboxes are really stupid. Um, basically, if you manipulate them in a certain way, they just push you out of bounds. It's really weird. He's going to try for it now. That looks good. Yeah. Perfect. And here he goes. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, all right. All right. So what Scotty is basically doing is um, just basically think of the, the room you're in. Think of the RAM as a box, a giant box, right? The top left is like the collision data for your room you're in, and that's where Samus is. So basically, um, when you leave that collision data, you start entering the RAM. So basically, like, what Scotty is doing is he's traveling out of bounds to a section of RAM for the file, for file C. And um, he's laying power bombs there to overwrite the RAM value for your spawn position and the event flag. So, like, um, you basically corrupt those. And you will see why. You, and it... And One. Oh. oh no, Scotty! You what uh, happened? Jump, what Scotty! Happened? Jump! Oh no! Oh my oh. God! Oh, what? Oh! oh. <laughs> but he's not out of the, he's not out of it yet, folks. He has to go to the right, run back to the left, and if he comes back to the right and this hallway is ruined again, he's got it. So it's clean now. One more thing to see. Yeah. He's got it! He's got it! I hope the ship's there, Scotty. All right, we'll check and. Oh, uh, uh, what's that sound? Where's what's Omega? I, I thought I parked my ship right here. Where'd it go? Uh, it got towed. It, I don't. Oh no! I think Scotty screwed up the entire run. I can't believe what? it. What? Oh, 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 where is it? Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Time is on pickup. Time is up. And time. 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 <laughs> See ya. Beautiful. I'm coming down off high off of that one. That was pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's got the Varia suit in a, the, the better color this time. <laughs> yeah. It's not an eyesore anymore. Yep. Thank goodness. <sighs> well, this is it. This is the collaboration of uh, all of us coming together to r figure this out. Biospark is one who actually, yeah, Biospark figured this out and then just. Sky just did some refinements, and well, here's the end result. Finally breaking the event system after all these years. Did we really even explain it while I was doing it? I wasn't paying attention. I, uh, to yeah, yeah, I explained yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, we got it covered. So, you, so basically, all, all that's happening is um, Scotty's overwritten the RAM for file C. Um, the the section of RAM that was over was his spawn location, and the the event system. It actually doesn't set the event system to anything. It just gives it a glitched value, but this glitched value can trigger the end game. So basically, that's why it works. Yeah, so for a long time, we thought that the charge beam was the most overpowered weapon in this game. And it turns out that the power bomb actually is so strong <laughs> that it can take you to the very end. Just destroy everything and take you to the very end. Oh, yes, indeed. But this is Fusion Memory Corruption. If this is a run that looks interesting to you, or if you're interested in maybe one of the uh, non-corrupted versions, then l look up the uh, look up the Discord. The community is big and it's very welcoming. It's full of a bunch of folks who are more than happy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the community will be more than happy to welcome new runners and. We'll be, you, you, chances are if you start streaming this game with any sort of percent in your name, we'll just appear out of the ether. That's just what we do. <laughs> <laughs>
Do anybody want to shout out here? Eagle Bank. Eagle. Oh, that's right. Shout outs to uh, shout outs, shout outs to Eagle, who unfortunately could not make it because he's in Europe. <laughs> but <laughs> probably BioSpark for finding this category and making Fusion finally not as uh, horribly long. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the way. <laughs> Hey, but for finally breaking this game after like many years of it, it, it's not being broken. Yeah, it takes away a lot of the RNG, so it makes the game actually fun to play now. Yeah. yeah. Sh shout out to all the Metroid folks who yeah. showed up here and are making an appearance on the back couch there. Mm -hmm. Give yourselves a round of applause, folks. <laughs> Thanks to everyone out there for watching and for donating to such a fantastic cause. That's why we're really here, and we're glad we could show off a spectacular new category for all y'all. Hey, final word, Scotty? GG. <laughs> GG. 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 Wood tea. Dang it, JRP. No, 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 no. this is good tier. <laughs> good tier. This is good tier. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this one do one just... <laughs> see the yeah, time. we're just waiting to see the time here and the uh, splash art. Humorously enough, the uh, the in-game timer does not actually work properly in this category because we actually use in-game time for every category except this one. <laughs> right. You can actually corrupt the memory um, to change the in-game time to a zero 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 if you want, and uh, try to claim world record like that. It'll get rejected. <laughs> <laughs> Samus, please put clothes on. <laughs> Sounds fake, but okay. <laughs> Six. Six, Six minutes. minutes. What a legend! What a legend! C. Scotty W. <laughs> Titan of time saves. All right. Well, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. We do roll call. We do. Oh. Do we want to do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. sorry we didn't introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Crunchy Lex. JFP. And I'm uh, Rasu123. Welcome to stream. <laughs> you can call me Rasu123. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and um, thanks for everything, folks. Thank you. Peace. All right, what an amazing run that was. Uh, just real quickly, I want to read uh, a couple quick donations. We're going to run a Twitch ad and then swap out hosts. Uh, so I had a $25 donation from the uh, various suit who says, don't you judge my color choices, uh, which I deeply appreciate. Uh, and also a $15 donation from Powerbomb, which just goes whoosh. All right, we're going to run a quick Twitch ad here. We're going to swap hosts, and then uh, we will be setting up for Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. So stay tuned, everyone.
Welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2019. I am Musical Daredevil. We are rapidly approaching $1 million raised for cancer prevention and early detection via the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Now, the last time I was up here, we passed the $500,000 mark. Do you guys out there think we could maybe pass the million dollar mark in the next few hours? Yeah, I'm certainly excited. So coming up next, we are currently setting up for Diablo II Lord of Destruction, run by Mr. Lama SC. Then after that, we will have Divinity Original Sin 2 by Seminari and Grand Theft Auto Vice City by KZ Fru. As you can, of course, see there on our amazing break screen, shout out to Support Class, by the way, they do an awesome job with these. We have the anonymous $50 donation. Good morning, AGDQ. We have $100 from RedLed76. I've been watching all week and realized I forgot to donate. Good luck to all the runners and thanks to everyone who makes GDQ such a great event. We have an anonymous $10 donation. Donating is the least I can do. Thanks for keeping me entertained for the whole week. Good luck to the runner, and let's get to one million. We have $35 from Wolf. I love watching these runs every year and donating as much as I can to help out the great charities that AGDQ supports. I try to catch as many runs as I can, but a big shout out to the tech crew from a fellow IT media person for throwing up the VOD so quickly. We have $36 from Shunji. AGDQ is fighting the good fight. Longtime lurker, but decided to donate now that I got a job. Looking forward to more donations and let's defeat cancer together. We have $100 from Joop. Glad I can help by donating such a, to such a wonderful event. I enjoy watching all these amazing people doing such mind-blowing game-breaking. This donation goes out to my aunt, who's going through chemo right now, and to all the people suffering through the same fate. We have $20 from Predmon. This is in honor of a close friend who lost the battle with melanoma, and to my girlfriend's father who lost the battle with lung cancer. Good luck to all the speedrunners over this weekend and to the PCF Foundation. Keep the good runs and good vibes going over the weekend. We have $50 from Yellow. For the fifth year in a row now, there is one week in January where I get to spend every free minute of every day watching amazing people destroy all of my favorite games and so many new and old games that I've never even heard of before. I love that we get all this entertainment for a good cause. To all of the runners, staff, and guests, keep doing what you're doing. You are awesome. We have $250 from Root. Hello from Ireland. As the son and nephew of victims of cancer, you folks are all absolute gems. Let's kick cancers! Expletive deleted. We have $125 from Brock151. Thank you to all the runners and volunteers who make this week so great every year. We have $125 from Flarks. Had to donate to get in on the Gauss Rifle Raffle. Fallout 3 was such a huge game for me and really opened my eyes to the potential of the open world genre. That's a crazy awesome prize donation. 
Now, I was back in our interview area earlier and I got a good look at that Gauss gun and it looks absolutely amazing. And again, um, you are able to enter that raffle. Let me just pull up the prize incentive. See, it's not here in my list. Let me check the other list.